Kem Sokka gets ready to defend himself in court. The leader of the now dissolved main opposition party is charged with treason and could be jailed for up to 30 years if found guilty. I know clearly that I am innocent, so I have to go to court to challenge the charges and demand they drop the case. Sokka was arrested in 2017. He spent around a year in prison and then more than a year under house arrest. He was released in November, but banned from taking part in politics and from leaving the country. The charges against Sokka stem from a remark he made seven years ago about consulting American democracy advocates on how to win in an election. Two months after his arrest, the Supreme Court dissolved the Cambodia National Rescue Party that he led. And the ruling party went on to win all the parliamentary seats in the 2018 general election. The US, the EU and some members of parliament from around the region have urged Cambodia to drop the charges against Sokka. The EU is also reviewing whether to continue extending preferential trade treatment to Cambodia. A lawyer for the government denies allegations that the charges against Sokha are politically motivated. We as lawyers for the government, as well as representatives of the prosecution office, we have plenty of evidence to prove to the judges the wrongdoings of Kem Sokha. Before the trial began, some were questioning how transparent the proceedings would be. Foreign embassy representatives and politicians are allowed into the courtroom, but the media, civil society groups and the public have been shut out. The case against Sokka has also had a wider impact beyond politics in the country. The chilling effect on civil society space, um, where the freedom of expression, where the freedom of assembly, where the freedom of association have been uh, narrow, become narrower and narrower, and this have also, um, you know, um, led many civil society in a limbo and also it increased more self-censorship. Many opposition politicians have fled Cambodia. Some have been prosecuted and others fear arrest. And some human rights groups say the trial is a sham and a means for the ruling party, led by Prime Minister Hun Sen, to extend its grip on power. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh.